says you will lend money. But what's your looking for? Really, I'm really struggling. There's Christmas coming up, and I need I need stuff for my kids. That's interesting, mate, but it's not really my problem, is it? Can you lend me three hundred quid? Three hundred pound. Let me figure out how much this is going to cost me. You, sorry. How long do you want to pay over a year? £20 a week over a year. £20 a week? Would you want the money or not? Yeah. I've been meaning to pay you, but I've... I've That's not really my problem, pal, is it? Going to £40 a week now. £40 a week? Well, you should have paid the f***ing money, shouldn't you? Listen, pal, you better be paying it. I'll be coming to see that pretty wee wife of yours. I don't know, but my brother was short of money, and he was... He went and got turned down by the banks and all that, and all these other loans, because he then just started his job. So uh, he was sitting in the pub one day and his mate would heard him talking to his mates and said that they knew somewhere where they could get a loan and you know and it's quite cheap and reasonable, no no problems, no paperwork involved. So he said, okay. He went and went along. Oh, that's a nice they wanna know what he wanted it for. Then a thousand pounds. Said that it would be hundred pounds a week for ten weeks. And he said, if you miss it, it doesn't matter, you know, we, we know you'll catch up because you're working. Fine, great. A couple of weeks he couldn't pay, so I told him it was fine. Then he told him he was getting another loan every time he missed a week. He'd be lying in bed because he was a night worker, knocking the door, push past his family, go upstairs, take him out of bed, take him to the cash point to get his payments. Like if you uh, put the wrong key in, pin number in and you lost your card because that's where you protected your money and they'd break your fingers so you couldn't do it again they wouldn't even bring you back from getting the money to leave them in town you'd have to get home in your slippers it just mounts up you argue with your family you argue with your kids and they say for that £1,000 it got to about £11,000 quite quickly very quickly um, these, these sort of loans don't die when you die. If you don't pay it off, you just see your kids. Um, would you borrow money off a loan shark? Yes. You would? Yes. Why? Because we've got bad credit rating, so banks won't lend us money. Um, we don't work, so banks won't lend us money. Um, it's an easy informal option that you can a way of getting quick cash. What do you know? What some of the tactics they if, if they get naughty to, to get their money back off you? Violence, obviously. Violence. <laughs> and what do they do? They take money off people who can't afford it. People who take advantage of people who haven't got money okay. or haven't got a lot of money. Uh, they just increase the returns on it, you know, and um, it's not fair. Do you know that they're illegal? Yes, yes, they are illegal. Time they did something about them. Would you would you borrow money off a loan shark? No, I wouldn't. No. no. Why not? Because the interest that you pay back, and I wouldn't trust them. Oh, yeah, can't be trusted. Okay. Do you know loan sharks? Do you know the difference between um, a loan shark and maybe a payday lender? No. No. Yeah. So a loan shark is anyone who offers to lend you money and it, who isn't licensed to do so. Um, so that could range from a uh, bloke down the pub to, um, to, to someone who's known around the community or, or even a friend. Um, and it, it, they usually won't provide paperwork or receipts to back up, their, um, to back up the offer and can, uh, can change the terms at any point. That's, uh, that's, that's the main issue um, and that's what we find with, uh, with most uh, loan shark deals is that the, the goalposts keep changing and you can never keep up with, uh, with what they're actually asking of you.
They're not to be confused with the uh, high street uh, lenders, uh, like the payday loans, high interest, that kind of thing. Um, they are all licensed. They might be expensive, but they are licensed. So, oh, this very nice man, Loan Shark, offered him money again. Look, here's a solution to your problem. Sign here. Um, I'll up it. I'll get rid of that 1700 You've got a couple of hundred pounds there to play with, lad. You know, you're getting a house and what have you. So Brian did. But I think by this time, Brian had realised, oh, God, I'm getting deeper and deeper. They're going to just keep doing this and doing it. It's not the money they're charging. It's the menacing what they're doing. It's the intimidation. It's the threat. Anyway... As I say, on the, on the Friday, 2nd of December, I, I said to him, well, look, I'm off to Auntie Jan's tonight. I said to him, so you've got the house to yourself. I said, I've got you some food and, you know, there's some beers. You know, you and Leanne can have a nice, nice. I won't bother you. I said, I'll give you a ring a bit later. He said, all right, Mum. And he gave me a kiss and he always did it. Love you, Mum. Without fail, every day. Love you, Mum. I'll see you tomorrow. So we're driving home. Anyway, we pulls up at the front of ours, um, goes down my steps. My mum and dad waving out the window to me as they did. Walks down the steps, everything's fine. Puts the key in the door and it was, I just noticed, I've got a little dog, well, I had a little dog, I should say. Um, and he, he, he's mad, runs round all over the place. So whenever we're not in, you, you have to make sure the door's shut so he's not running round. Anyway, the first thing I noticed when I went in was this kitchen door was open. And the dog was just sat shivering on his bed, absolutely shaking. Now, that wasn't him. He, he'd jump all over you and lick you to death. And she, I don't know, it only seemed like two seconds later, I just heard the most horrendous pace and scream you have ever heard in your life and I knew I knew oh my god he's dead this lad's dead don't ask me how I knew it was just that scream that'll never ever leave me and then she is absolutely screaming mum mum but it was like in slow motion I sort of run out into the the hall and she's at the top of the stairs looking at me, shaking, no, no. Mum, come here, Mum, help him, help him. But I couldn't, I just couldn't bring myself to go up them stairs. So she literally come down and was dragging me, you've got to help him, help him, Mum. You can't leave him like that. So in the end, I went up, she ran out into the, the streets, don't know how. And she just got in the street and I went up the stairs and just see my son. And he was in. Um, I got to the top of the landing and there's my son hanging from a belt from um, the attic in my bathroom. Just, oh, just, oh, God. A loan shark who charged, charged customers customer interest, interest rates of up to 8,000% to be jailed for 84 years. Well, well, rates of up to 15,000%. He admitted eight charges of blackmail. Rohit Kasher reports from Boston. It was money that funded a millionaire's lifestyle from the expensive cars on his drive. One woman was told he'd send the cronies round if she failed to pay on time. Now, Boston's empire was built on illegal money lending, blackmail and violence. He even raped one of his customers. 